All right, tenants from three buildings in Crown Heights say they've had enough after seeing things like this right here. They rallied outside together this morning after they say one landlord has swept their repair requests under the rug and it resulted in a woman's ceiling collapsing on top of her. News 12's Mary Lynn Buckley with an inside look at the living conditions that tenants say they have been dealing with for months. No repairs, no rent. This small group of tenants were loud and clear. We are the union. We are Holding an emergency rally on Eastern Parkway after they claim their cries for much needed repairs in their apartments have fallen on deaf ears. Their landlord, Louis Barbanel and Barberry Rose Management. But this Saturday was the final straw when Jessica Diggs, a tenant living on the second floor in 1193 Eastern Parkway, ceiling collapsed on top of her. I felt the door coming down. And when I looked up, it was hanging. So I ran and I seen a Diggs passed out and spent the night in the emergency room, suffering multiple injuries, her hospital bracelet still on her wrist. I have soreness on my neck. She claims she sent out multiple reports about her ceiling for the last two months, but heard radio silence. Emails, as called. It's the same landlord and it's a disaster. Lorna Jordan lives in the building next door and says she experienced the same situation. One thing to the next. That was up until 45 minutes before this rally. The landlord responding to Jessica and our emails and even sending a crew out today to make repairs in her bathroom. We not only got to see a view inside Jessica's apartment, but we got to look at this apartment. It's apartment 2C and it's recently been renovated. Now taking a look inside, the difference between this apartment and Jessica's, it's night and day. We want you to take a look for yourselves. The marble bathroom, beautiful bathroom. I don't have to have mismatched towels in the bathroom. We reached out to Barberry Rose Management who issued us this statement reading in part, the open violations have been corrected and we're waiting for inspection dates from the HPD to get them removed from the record. As for Diggs, the debris is being swept out of her apartment as she hopes to hopefully get back in to her once fully functioning bathroom. In Crown Heights, Mary Lynn Buckley, News 12.